Hi, book, booktube. I'm sitting here on a, it's a Tuesday night here in West Michigan. It is May the 16th, 2000, 2017. It is 9.04 at night here. It is 81 degrees inside my cell. I'm sitting here writing in my diary. I usually don't write in my diary at night, but this afternoon, uh, one of the volunteers at the local library used bookstore, the book nook, called me and asked me if I could come in and take, be there for some six to eight tonight because she wanted to go to some concert with a friend. And I said, sure, I can spend two hours there at the book nook. So uh, that's what I'm writing down here, what I did at the book nook. What I did at the book nook is I, uh, I read, uh, well, I've been reading all day, all afternoon and this evening, this new biography on the, uh, the writer Harry Cruz, Blood, Bone, and Marrow, a biography of Harry Cruz by Ted Gilt, Gilt, Gittner. G E L T I no G E L T N E R it says here he is an associate professor of journalism at Valdosta State University, advisor to the campus newspaper, and author of a book titled The Last King of Sports Page The Life and Career of Jim Murray. He worked for 17 years as a writer and editor at a number of newspapers including Gainesville Sun, the Scanton, Scranton Times Tribune, and Okala Star Banner. Uh, I've read 45 pages of this biography and I'm really enjoying it. It's a very straightforward narrative about the uh, early childhood of Harry Cruz. I'm up to the point where he, he went into the uh, military when he was out of high school and right at the end of the Korean War and he decided to go to college on the GI Bill and that's where I'm at. But it's very interesting. Uh, I like reading biographies of writers even though I'm not a professional writer. I think I've read countless biographies of writers. It just I'm always reading biographies of writers poets, artists. But anyway, so I was reading that and I got at the book nook for volunteering tonight. I brought home uh, Emma Zola's novel, The Earth. I don't have this one. I have a huge collection of Zola's novels. And I also brought home Edgar Allan Poe, the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket. So I brought home these for our library. So yeah, I went to the book nook. It was kind of quiet. I left 10 minutes early. I didn't really stay until 8 o'clock. There was nobody there. So I read, listened to music, wandered the store. And then I came home and Carol had gone to work. and So I've been listening to music and messing with the computer and waiting to go to bed. Uh, I did get in the mail a book this afternoon that I ordered last year from, this is a, a book published by InterVarsity Press Academic. This is a, a, a real chunker. This is by John Anthony, Anthony McCluckin, The Path of Christianity, The First Thousand Years. This thing is old, I think is 1,207 pages. Uh, those who know me know that I'm a, that when I was in Bible college, I studied church history for four years and then for three and a half years in seminary in Jackson, Mississippi, at Reformed Theological Seminary, I studied church history uh, ancient history, medieval history, uh, those, uh, I've read 
on the history of the English Puritans in 17th century, 16th century, the English Reformation, the Reformation, medieval history, uh, evangelical American history. I just really love reading about the church, history of the church, the visible church. You have the visible church and you have the invisible church made up of God's elect, those who have been bought by the blood of Christ. They make up the body of Christ, the bride of Christ, the, the uh, invisible church. You have the church here on earth, which is a church in humiliation, and you have the church in glorification that are reigning right now with Christ in heaven. So yeah, so yeah, I, I was really excited to get this. Uh, John Anthony McCluckin is a world famous, renowned scholar on early Christianity, and I look forward to digging into this. Uh, every year, I'm, I'm always reading uh, church history of some kind, and so I'm excited to get that. Like I said, it's a chunker. And this morning I read for morning devotions, scripture as real presence, sacramental exegesis in the early church by Hans Borsma. So I was really enjoying that. So, and uh, this, this afternoon I had to go out and do some errands. I went out and got a new pair of shoes and and I went to a garden center to get some fertilizer for my wildflower garden and I don't know, I, I, and I stopped at a thrift store and I found two books. I found this novel called The Clearing by Tim Geltertrix. I thought I had read this, uh, I, but I, when I went to my library thing, uh, it wasn't uh, catalogs. It was a book I didn't have in our library. So I found this novel, The Clearing. Uh, but it looks familiar, so I don't know. So I got that, and then I found this book called um, Remembering Jesus, Christian Community, Scripture, and the Moral Life by Alan Vary. I don't have the cover, it's a used book, but look pretty, I, I'm really into Christian ethics, how we are to live as Christians in this world, our, our behavior. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm writing in my diary. I'll probably read some more of the biography of Harry Cruz. Tomorrow's a Wednesday. Probably tomorrow I'll work on my flower garden. I gotta plant the seeds. And so I hope you had a good Tuesday. Uh, I don't look, I've gone on to thrift stores. I don't have any more books coming in the mail. So yeah, I don't know what else to communicate. Um, I did get the new uh, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds CD in the mail today. But uh, yeah, so I suppose I'll close, drink some water. Wait for darkness to fall. Tomorrow's a Wednesday. Existence keeps flung by. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.